Mortgage interest rates ticked a bit higher in February, but remain below the February 2020 levels. Interest rates may rise a bit further in coming weeks, but according to Freddie Mac Chief Economist Sam Catter, while there are multiple temporary factors driving up rates, the underlying economic fundamentals point to rates remaining in the low 3% range for the year. That's good news. With rates still at historically low levels, home sales are unlikely to be significantly impacted, though higher rates do affect affordability. Hi, I'm Mark Renner from Berkshire Hathaway Ambassador Real Estate. I'm known as Mr. Omaha. That's my logo in the upper corner of the screen. I've been voted the outstanding agent in Omaha twice, and I was recently honored by the Omaha Area Board of Realtors. The real estate market is unlike any, I've been doing this for 47 years, and the real estate market is unlike any market that I have been a part of in my lifetime. But let's talk about February 2021 Omaha area housing report, and we'll see if we can draw some conclusions. We'll have some observations. We'll see if we can draw some conclusions. So let's compare February of this year to February a year ago. New listings decreased 19.2% for new construction. That's because there is a lot of demand for new construction. And it decreased, new listings decreased 27.1% for existing homes, which is one of the reasons why um, the demand for new construction has gone up. Pending sales increased 23.2% for new construction. As I said, uh, it's popular because of the low inventory of existing homes. Pending sales for existing homes decreased 13.6%. And now in inventory decreased, went down for new construction uh, because of the demand, but it decreased almost 62% for existing homes, which is a problem in the marketplace today. So hang around till the end of this video and I'll explain to you how you will be able to find your dream home in this low inventory market. So the median closed price for new construction went up almost 12%. Lumber prices are going up. There's a high demand for qualified uh, subcontractor labor, plumbers, electricians, framers. Days on the market increased almost 22% for new construction and decreased 46% for existing homes. That's an indication of the demand there is for new construction and existing homes. Conclusion, the strong buyer activity has continued into the spring, but while mortgage rates remain at or near record lows, but they are increasing, there's lots of pressure on interest rates. The Mortgage Bankers Association report that lending standards are tightening, which makes it a bit more difficult for some buyers to qualify. But despite all this, buyers are out in full force this spring, showing amazing res resilience in the middle of a pandemic. But here's what I was talking about at the end of the video. Do you want to find your dream home, but you're not looking because you don't think you can find one because of low inventory? Well, I have a system where you give me the parameters and my software system will alert you and me the moment a new, construct, uh, a new listing comes on the market that meets your parameters and we can go right out to see it. But you say, but Mark, I haven't sold my present house. Not a problem. If you have good credit and equity, I have a banking connection that will give you the money in total to buy your next home, your dream home. And then you, you won't have two mortgages. There'll just be a note on that. And then when we put your present home on the market and get it sold and closed, we then convert that note to the first mortgage on your new home in the mortgage amount that you wanted. So thank you very much for watching today. I'd love to talk to you about your real estate needs or questions. I'm Mark Renner. My information is streaming below. I'm at 
1687 or email me at mark at markrenner.com. Thank you for watching. Have a great day and be well.